Hello and welcome back to DGM, everybody, and Dream Daddy. What is up? And I cannot stress this enough, my fellow gamers. <laughs> <laughs> my fellow gamers, I am here with you again today, bringing you more uh, Dream Daddy. Dream Daddy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to find out what exactly Amanda was made for. What is Amanda made for? <laughs> that is an excellent question. <laughs> what is even in this statement? Like, Amanda, what? <laughs> you're, you're trying to say that your your, your dad, uh... You, you know what? No, we're not going that way. <laughs> not on YouTube. <laughs> we're not going down that train of thought. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Find tickets to a show that you two will like, then enclose them in the letter. Oh, that's classy. Dracula. <laughs> Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yep. Amanda 100%. and I hop onto my laptop and peruse showtimes. It doesn't seem like a romantic comedy type of guy. Hey. Oh, here's one. Vampire Crusade 2? <laughs> Evil never dies. I don't know. That sounds kind of stupid. Oh. Actually, it's critically acclaimed exploration into the anew of existence. It really turns the vampire trope on its head. Really? I'd fucking watch it. <sighs> yeah. I'd fucking watch it. <laughs> nah, there's just lots of blood and vampire titties. <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> I'd definitely watch it. <laughs> definitely watch it. <laughs> well, let's oh. roll the dice. Eh? <laughs> yeah, it's either it's either one or the other. It really is. It really is that way, isn't it? <laughs> I purchase the tickets and print them out, then sit down at the table with Amanda and try drafting a nice letter. I start writing, Damien. Uh, hey. <laughs> Good motto to you on this fine eve. I do hope this letter oh, finds you in good health. Ah. Good one. <laughs> What's next? Hmm. <laughs> Remember when your son tried to cask of um, um, a vitalin <laughs> amontillado, that kid? You been good? Cask of amontillado, yeah. I must confess of my amateur control of the written word. Oh, yeah. There yeah, be honest. Be 100% honest. Yes, do it. Jeez, Dad, have some faith in yourself. <laughs> now, I have zero faith. Have you met me, Amanda? I have zero faith. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're trucking along. Let him know how you're feeling. Uh... You find me in good this is, spirits. This is what I've, I've done this with actual letters myself. Holy shit. <laughs> You're right. But also to be like, okay, okay. So so they were doing, being being honest. They were doing this here. I'll re repeat it. And then I'll do the sa same for like every line. <laughs> <laughs> every subject. You're like, okay, what are they talking about here? Let me let me bring up the same subject in the exact same way. And the same. <laughs> I've done this before. It's so funny. Anyway. Hope you find me in good spirits, for I felt very much the same. After <laughs> that last earnest That's... shit was pretty messed up. <laughs> that this shit was pretty messed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was our last we met. <laughs> that uh, earnest shit was. <laughs> uh, you find me in good spirits, for I felt very much the same after our last encounter. Yeah. That sounds yeah very much. Yes. Like what? Yeah. Anyway. Nice. Yeah. As a man just put it. Ask him to hang out already. Two R <laughs> takes time, Amanda. It's true. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> While a strange turn of events, I found myself enamored of the situation at hand. Like Berghill's landscape with the fall of Icarus, also I find Icarus. myself lost in your details. Let me, uh, um, let me get at that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that third answer for no reason. <laughs> They've been so funny. Uh...
<laughs> Fe that follow one. your heart, Dragono. Bring it home, Pops. Let me take you out. I got two tickets to the movies. <laughs> to the movies. No, 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 Dragono. You can't, you can't write it that way. That's not Victorian enough. <laughs> I would very much enjoy your company. Uh, accompanying me to the cinema. The cinema. It would bring me great be. pleasure to escort you to the cinema. Because he, because he was basically asked us if he wanted to go out to the to the, the, the movies. Yeah. This one. Okay. So I think that last one is the better. Yeah, Smooth. Yeah, me too. Calling it the cinema is a classy move. In close, you'll find two tickets to Vampire Crusade 2, Evil Never Dies, which I'm sure you'll find both titillating and enjoyable. Best wishes. Hard, hard daps. daps. <laughs> Namaste. We'll carry on. I think best wishes is the best choice yeah. here, but... <laughs> And then I sign my name. My full name. Fancier that way. Of course. Splurt McGirt. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to chat and everyone, I need you to understand. We did not make our characters name this for this joke. <laughs> I just we, thought it, of that. It just, it just happened. Just light up this way. Holy fuck, dude. No mistakes, only happy accidents. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bob Ross. <laughs> you tell that tell me that next time I try to draw. <laughs> Is this okay? You've never seen me draw anyway. <laughs> I've seen you draw. Yeah, you have. Taco's not good. <laughs> Taco's a hell of a lot better than I am. Wah! Anyway. Amanda reads over my sloppy handwriting. <laughs> More amateur penmanship. Oh, that is the same after our last counter, or else we... That's like two titles for no different. It really does look like that. Holy shit. That's actually my handwriting almost, too. I could actually... If I could remember enough of my cursive, I could actually do it in cursive. Hey, hey, you take this and compare it to Damien's letter. <laughs> oh, yeah, Damien's looks so much better. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> That's so great. Uh, uh, I love it. All right, moving on. You spelled his name wrong. What? Hmm. Nah, just trying to keep your on your toes. <laughs> Damn it, Amanda! <laughs> Why you little you <laughs> You little Do you like the Homer Simpson strangle? <laughs> <laughs> now all you have to do is seal it and put it in his mailbox. Can I seal it with tape? Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seal it with wax. You got me fancy with this shit. You, you got a fancy with this shit. That's not authentic enough. I have an idea. I'll be right back. Melted crayon. <laughs> Amanda leaves the room and returns with a candle, um, what... a lighter, and a small piece of wood. Huh. Oh, oh, she went with actual candle. Oh. Oh, yeah, you yeah. gotta have a wax seal. She's not wrong. She lights the candle, which starts to burn down and form a pool of melted wax. What's that other thing? Hmm. Amanda pours some of the wax into the folded letter expertly presses a small piece of wood into it. She lets it dry for a second and pulls the wood away, revealing... Here it is, your sigil. A piece of wood. I love it. A, a little, little kitten, kitten with wood. a bow on its head. Awesome! Amanda, when did you have this sh Oh, I guess... <laughs> yeah, she photography, the scrapbooking stuff, yeah. She would have a stamp. Oh, yeah, because yeah, the stamps are this... Ah, oh, fuck! Amanda, you're smart. Holy fuck. <laughs> and she is a smart girl. She is very smart, because, like, I was, like, I'm thinking, like, because, like, getting a wax seal, like, yeah, very simple. You, you just melt down a candle, use the leftover wax that's melted down, and put it on the letter. The, the hard part is the seal part, because you have to have, like, something to use as a seal. Uh, my my solution to that would have been, uh, it would have looked really funky. I wonder if it will actually work, but <laughs> I'd probably actually take, like, a quarter and put it on, like, a stick or something. 
Like, I would have taped it to the stick or something and then used that <laughs> as, as my uh, wax seal, but, like, frickin' stamp. Genius. So that Absolutely. shit's basically, basically the same thing. It's basically the same thing. Anyway. <laughs> scrapbooking stuff always comes in clutch. Hell yes. Well, my I guess all there too, so. is to do is deliver it to his doorstep now, huh? huh? Oh, I thought we were getting a carrier pigeon to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you think we could afford that, Amanda? <laughs> huh? I already called, the called my guy. You have a guy? You have a guy? <laughs> I have a pigeon guy. Marcus has the good pigeons. <laughs> Amanda, I love you right now. <laughs> Amanda just having a guy for pigeons. Yes. But Amanda, why do you Amanda, why do you have you Don't get your pigeons from Anthony. They're they're no good. <laughs> <laughs> she, she has this whole backstory. Hell yes. No, I think I think she's been waiting for this. I she probably doesn't. I don't want to know if any of this is true. <laughs> yeah, because then you have to worry about who she's dating, and we don't want to do that. <laughs> I head outside oh, yes. and walk over to Damien's house. I slip the letter into the slot in his door and go back home. Hmm. Mission accomplished? Fuck no! I stood there standing <laughs> at the street, <laughs> staring at the house, debating whether or not I, I should do it. I was in the bushes watching the door to see if I could see anything. Now we ah. play the waiting game. Oh dear lord. Uh, I love his handwriting though. The, the, the two, two toddlers fighting over a crayon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The night finally rolls around where I'm supposed to meet Damien, or meet with Damien. The next day, he had left another beautifully crafted letter thanking me for mine and agreeing to in the evening. Amanda helps me pick out a nice outfit and I show up to the theater a little bit early. It's a chilly night and the theater is kind of crowded, but it's still nice. Yeah. How do you do? I jump at the sound of his voice and turn around to see Damien right behind Hell me. Hell yes, the lightning sound! <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. He's probably gonna hate this movie, just so you know, Dragono. Probably. <laughs> I... You almost gave me a heart attack. How long were you there I for? I was expecting your sprite to actually have different clothes on. <laughs> no. I was half expecting it. We wear the Danny Sex Bang outfit all the way. Everywhere. Everywhere. The Danny, Even the shower. The Danny Sex Bang leotard stays on during... It stays on during. <laughs> no, honey, it is not coming off. <laughs> I don't know. I just walked up. My apologies for frightening you. Yeah, I've is done that, that thunder? Is it going to rain soon? I have, been, I have been accused of teleporting and being invisible because of that reason. <laughs> oh, I've yeah. done that before. I am <laughs> Where very... I just walk up to someone, say hi, and they freak out because they're like, yeah. yeah where'd you... <laughs> I am, I am that very quiet good sometimes. at being light-footed. Taco can be pretty quiet, and I've been accused of teleporting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to actually be able to teleport. <laughs> oh, trust me, if Taco could teleport, Taco would be the happiest being in the world. I would never have to drive. <laughs> I Not that, you see, Taco, Taco does enjoy driving. Taco hates traffic. Taco hates other drivers. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> I didn't hear they anything. Didn't. What? 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 Oh, no. <laughs> Regardless, the hour grows close. <clears throat> Shall we take our seats in the cinema? I must thank you again for purchasing our tickets. Oh. Please allow me to repay the deed in Sour Patch Kids or perhaps Milk Duds. Yes, please. Sour yes. Patch Kids. Absolutely. I'd love to try those. I Walking don't really... I've never... Well, I have... I think I've had them when I was younger. I wasn't really into Sour at the time. I might be more now. So I who knows. love Sour Patch Kids. Hell yes. Let's do it. We get in line to buy snacks as we're waiting. I hear a familiar voice behind us. Ugh, my dad's here. Oh, look, it's Ernest. I, I knew it was going to be him. No, Lucian. Or Lucian, er, sorry. Ernest, was Ernest, is, Ernest, Ernest is, is the Hugo's kid. little shit. Hugo's little shit. 
<laughs> Dear Lord. I, I turn around <laughs> to find Lucian standing a few feet behind us with what a dad, gaggle of dad's... other goth kids. Uh, is there a hot goth girl in there? I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm asking for um, purely uh, educational reasons. I'm asking for a friend who's also I'm a high schooler. For a friend. Who's also a, happens to be a high schooler because these are high school kids, Taco. I know, but still. <laughs> look, look, look. I, 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 I agree. Teenager, bad, but dude, it's goth aesthetic. <laughs> Hear me out, goth aesthetic. <laughs> it is the best aesthetic. Ah. Lucian, how nice to see you. I didn't I was know expecting you were... Amanda, actually. <laughs> I didn't know you were coming to the theater. I'm glad to see you spending some quality time with your friends. Whatever, Dad. Oh. And what movie will you be attending tonight? Turns out it's the same one. Right? My friends are making me see some kids' movie about talking animals. I don't really care about it. Uh. Well, I do hope you enjoy your evening. We'll be watching Vampire Crusade 2, Evil Never Dies. What? You? Watching that? Yeah, I thought yeah. Damien would enjoy it. Ha! Huh. Good luck with that, Dad. Lucian rejoins yeah, his friends and he I might look be over right. to Damien. I'm, I'm almost positive uh, Damien's going to hate this movie. <laughs> hey, good luck with what? It's nothing. My son loves to tease. He's going to be like, he's going to hate this movie. God <laughs> right? damn it. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just thinking through it. I'm like... Screw up my blood. <laughs> Like he is, so, even though he's super vampire tast, even though he's super vampire tastic, he's gonna, he's gonna be the guy that like picks it apart. You know, picks apart the movie. That for being be blood and, gore and he turns out to be like super squeamish and like bombs. <laughs> that'd be so fun. You know what? This, you know, that'd be a great story. By the way, just have a vampire who is super squeamish with blood. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be I think a great an anime story. About that. <laughs> there probably is because you know anime likes to explore freaking ideas before literally anyone else for some reason I, th I think I saw something about a vampire that was like squ squeamish around blood that'd be so funny though I don't Just remember like... what it was though but I think I've seen something like that it probably is it's a great idea it's a fantastic it's a great story idea we or wait for at least a character idea anyway for a little longer and Damien buys us snacks. He seems a little nervous. I wonder what's wrong. Damien and I take our seats and settle in for previews. Glancing at him, I can see that he's sweating profusely and gripping his armrest. Uh... Any of them are fine, as, or fine I guess. I, I, I'd personally go with the top one, but... Yeah. That's just top Everything though. okay? Everything is perfectly fine. Hmm. I'm so uh, excited for this film. I'm a devoted patron of the arts, especially the scary arts. The scarier the art, the better. Ah, uh, he's a wuspus. He doesn't like horror. Head pat the dragon mill. Uh, uh, Head pat the Damien. <laughs> Taco, Taco doesn't really do a lot of scary, but that's yeah, this, this is like Taco me and Taco going to the movie, seeing a scary movie. That I'm all pumped and ready for it. And Taco's like, I don't want to see the scary. Taco doesn't really want to see the scary. Most of the again, Taco doesn't. Taco doesn't get scared often, so he, you would with me because I would absolutely, at a tense point, reach over and grab you. <laughs> be like ah it's just, just to scare you you're so lucky you're so lucky i'm not trained to punch people <laughs> i actually i actually I've knew 1000 percent done that before i have <laughs> absolutely done it just when the music get when the scene's like real tense and it gets suspenseful and the music is like building up i'll just reach over and, ah! <laughs> i actually did have a friend who uh if he was ever surprised his first reaction was to throw a punch <laughs> I'm not, I'm not kidding you. Like, instead of, like, just jumping back or whatever, like most people do, he would actually throw a punch. <laughs> fight or flight? You gotta be careful who you scare. But when you get the you fighters, really it's on. 
The fighters are funny, but freaking like, and admittedly, Taco wishes she didn't fight on first instinct, but fucking... <laughs> Honestly, if it's like a drawn out scary thing, I'm gonna be like, well, I can't run. Taco can't run for shit, so, uh, <laughs> to Valhalla's door I go, so help me God. <laughs> <laughs> I like scary. Fear is funny. When it's other people anyway. Do you have a favorite horror movie? Oh, Chucky. Does, <laughs> <She's kidding. laughs> does Damien have a favorite horror movie? I guess we'll find Damien. out next time on VGM. Wait, Maybe. no, it's not time yet. Never mind. Oh, I forgot to hit start. Whoops. <laughs> Never mind. It's not time for VGM. Oh, we, yet. we still got ten minutes left. Never mind. Yes. Uh, uh, cancel that. Uh, cancel that. No, no. Roll back. Going. Roll back the end. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll we find out what Damien's favorite horror movie is now. I, of course, I have a favorite horror movie. Mine is uh, Halloween Town. Terrifying. Oh. First off, you've seen Halloween Town? Halloween Town does have some, like, kind of spooky parts in it. It does have some spooky stuff, but, like, gosh, that's... It's Good not movie, really that though. scary. Though. I, I do love Halloween Good. Town. I, oh. I, I would be 100% down with watching that. Uh, <laughs> the second one was pretty good, too. It got kind of crap after that. Yeah. That's... I don't know if I watched a whole lot after... The first one honestly anyway that's odd i don't seem to remember halloween town being that scary i would have expected him to bring up some sort of strange foreign horror film that i never heard of damien's Dude, knuckles are um... turning white it looks like he's about to rip the armrest off wait a second damien are you afraid of horror movies what me no <laughs> never preposterous <laughs> you must be joking i love horror movies damien you don't have to <laughs> You don't the, have to... The lights dim for the film. <laughs> <laughs> You're, the, the cutout in Discord is fantastic. <laughs> oh, is that... Was that was him? <laughs> I was just doing a bit. He actually screamed. Oh, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> I killed Taco. I can't. Taco is now dead. I was just doing a bit. I didn't know that would actually Wait, happen. Freaking, freaking, uh, freaking Lucian just comes up to us later and he's just like, "Hey, did you get that on film?" <laughs> Please tell me you got that on film. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for Damien, but at the same time, <laughs> I'm not changing the scream either. He ha he has the shrill, high pitched scream. It's amazing. <laughs> I thought that was you for a minute. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, uh... I thought you were going through with the bit, and that's what that scream was. <laughs> I, I did the scream and then it said that he screamed. I, I did the scream first as a bit. <laughs> that is hilarious. Hey, I, I apologize. I was thinking about something far scarier than this movie, which is not scary at all. <laughs> Damien, my, my my poor sweet Damien. <laughs> you, if, if you're. You didn't. You, you know you could have told me. You, you right? Just been like, you, did, you you could have been just honest and said you didn't like horror films, man. Right. Um, he's far too. He's far too nice for that. We already <laughs> bought the tickets. See, we settle in as the film starts. I offer Damien some licorice, and he takes one. I take note of how much his hands are shaking. <sighs> the title flashes across the screen in bloody letters. Vampire Crusade 2. Evil never dies. Hmm. Poor, poor dude. A pale man with long silver hair, glittering red eyes, and well-oiled abs sits up in a coffin. Hell yes! <laughs> I mean, what? Awaken my fight. coven! <laughs> Two more vampires slide the tops of their stone coffins onto the floor. Brother, is it time? I hope you don't have to do this entire movie. <laughs> oh, here's, here's a female. Yes, husband, but also mortal enemy. It is time. That's, gosh, I hate that trope. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the three look at each other and then to the camera. For the vampire, vampire crusade. Oh, they, I don't know who's this who. Rules. This rules. It's all three of them. That's that was all three of them. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. The trio of vampires flies off into the night as foreboding organ music plays in the distance. I somehow get lost in the movie. As dumb as it sounded, it's actually a pretty fun flick. Ah. We get to a tense moment of the movie where Romulus Trueblood sits at a truce meeting with the general of the human army whose wife Romulus has fallen in love with. Romulus, is it good to finally meet you? It is good to it's finally good. meet you. Okay, soldier. I'm a <laughs> general, I agree. It's good to finally blood you. Oh, my. Romulus leaps out and slashes the general's throat. Blood splatters over everything, including the camera. Ah. Damien screams again, reflex reflexively grasping my hand. <laughs> oh, hell yes. <laughs> I immediately blush, forgetting about any vampires or blood or vampiric ah. blood. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <sighs> Damien retracts his hand and places it back in his lap. <sighs> I was writing a novel in my head about blood magic, and I got to an extremely scary section. Uh, sure. Sure, sure Damien. Yeah, uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Damien totally, goes yeah. back to quietly stressing out over the movie. It's kind of cute that he won't Speaking. admit that he's afraid of it. I, I wanted to speak real fast on a thing that I Taco's... I wish you would hold did. my hand I've... again. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> How <laughs> lewd! Hand-holding? How... On my in Christian speed in server? In public? <laughs> <laughs> Someone call the Inquisition. <laughs> Nobody expects a Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Nobody! <laughs> hey, you were saying? Um, what was it? I had I was actually writing and thinking about cause uh because I am writing a story and have do have vampire characters. I had I'm trying to world build how vampires work in my world, and one of, and upon, it's a bit of a long explanation, but I came to a conclusion that uh, vampires have erectile dysfunction. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, because they require blood all the time, so therefore, like, if they don't have, like, if their blood, like, because vampires don't, <laughs> their blood is either like not blood, you know, in their you know, veins. You make a good point. <laughs> So like if they don't have because because of how how that whole system works down there like yeah, if, if they're your not, blood's not if flowing blood's right not, yeah if their blood's not flowing because they're undead like can they get it up can they get it up <laughs> 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 so yeah I came to that conclusion of like, and they feed on a oh, person they just get that, they just get like a hard they one a raging nard <laughs> they just have a raging boner. <laughs> <laughs> no reason about it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I I came to that realization. I went, gosh, that be that makes vampires so much less scary <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, sorry, that was a little side note. Um. <laughs> uh. Anyway, maybe, maybe I could, <laughs> maybe I could do something to try and make him feel more comfortable. I've got it. I'll do what all dads do best: talk during the movie. Oh no, no! <laughs> uh. Oh no, this is gonna be terrible, man. You're you're gonna be that guy. <laughs> I don't know what to pick either. Uh... I don't know. I don't know either, man. I'm so sorry. Uh. Uh, point out a plot hole. Yeah. You notice how that guard fired seven bullets, but his gun only holds six bullets? Hmm. Yes, that is absolutely unforgivable from a filmmaking standpoint. It's almost unwatchable. It's funny how it's so much easier to point out tiny mistakes in the work of others than it is to accurately go create your own thing, huh? True story. Wow. He's not wrong. Dude, they're not wrong. <laughs> you, you calling somebody out there, Splurt? Like... Calling yourself out there? Mm -mm. <laughs> right. Hey, look. It's the anachronism. Huh. I have no idea what that is. 
The rest of the movie goes by relatively smoothly, with only a few whimpers from Damien. Maybe he would have liked the romantic comedy better. We get to the final scene of the movie where Romulus, Bad Blood, and the General's wife embrace each other in his crypt. It appears that the true Vampire Crusade Dear was the Vampire God. Crusade in our hearts. Our cold, unbeating hearts. Dear God. <laughs> Romulus and the General's wife began making out hard. Oh my. Oh, this is that kind of film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that kind of film now. It, it, it all of a sudden turned into a snuff film. Mm. The film fades to black and the end appears on screen. But... Then it hard cuts to Demetrius and his rival lover, Carmilla, who watched the two from afar. Hmm. Oh no, twist ending. Our bloodline has been pure for a thousand years. Romulus has betrayed us by loving a human woman. It will only be a short time before the next vampire crusade. Three evil must die again. More Great thunder, thunder more thunder. ominous organs. The movie fades out again, and a bloody question mark now accompanies the end. Damien and I walk out of the movie. Yeah, the movie's theater. a complete flop. <laughs> Amidst throngs of chattering moviegoers, he's a little more pale than I remember. But otherwise, he survived the encounter. He even seems kind of invigorated. What an interesting film. While the premise admittedly struck me as pedestrian, I was intrigued by its harrowing love story and great attention to detail in regards to vampiric lore. Yeah, it was pretty good. I, I, thought, he would, I, I thought he would pick it apart. A lot okay, more yeah, vampire cool. titties than I thought there would be. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it was a bad thing. <laughs> Come, the night is young. Let's take a stroll. Next time on VGM. Yes, next time. See you. Bye, everybody. Maybe more vampire titties? I mean, what? <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs>